Hello and welcome to Get Decked, the video series where I make budget Magic the Gathering decks for your casual games night and to introduce friends and family members to the game. In this episode uh, we're going to carry on with these three coloured decks that I'm putting together and we're going to look at Sliver Swarm, so no prizes for guessing what the deck's about. Also I could not think of a funny punny name for like a deck based around slivers, like <laughs> you know the old pre-cons have always taken, already taken like sliver shivers and stuff like that, so if you've got any ideas for like a funnier name for this deck please stick a comment down below. But yeah let's uh dive in start getting into the uh, the slivers um and actually it's actually not the first time i've made a sliver a sliver deck because way back when i was reviewing uh m14 uh i made a sliver deck called hive might uh which was the uh the sliver precon that that should have existed and didn't because uh Watsy were cowards and didn't want to commit to making a sliver deck but anyway you can go back and watch that if you if you want uh back in ooh, season four i think that is maybe maybe season five can't remember um but yeah Let's, let's go on and look at uh, Sliver, Sliver Swarm. But first, let's remind ourselves of the Get Decked rules. Uh, so these decks are 60 cards. They're designed for 1v1 games. No format restrictions, mostly commons and uncommons. No cards that cost more than $2 at time recording. Uh, we limit ourselves to 12 different non land cards for a good mix of variety and consistency. Uh, strong themes, low to mid complexity, so it's easy for a new player to pick up and play and understand. Um, but just because it's casual doesn't mean it's weak or bad. So let's dive into it. So pretty simple deck list um it's just lands and creatures uh, you know i just thought like with slivers like who are we kidding let's just not beat around the bush we'll just go you know pull the trigger we'll just go full creatures and lands like no instance no sorceries no enchantments just creatures just lands straightforward like full 10 <laughs> year old making a deck of their favorite creatures whatever um and mana curve off to the side there let's dive in start looking at all these slivers so normally I divide this into um, into different sections, how we winning and what helps us win. But with slivers, the how we winning is also what helps us win because every sliver obviously makes all the other slivers better. So we're going to actually get through this probably really quickly because, you know, covering off two topics at once. So um, we're going to start off with two brood slivers. So four and a green for a three, three. Whenever a sliver deals combat damage to a player, its controller may create a one, one colorless sliver creature token, which then obviously gets this ability. So, I mean, if you don't know about slivers, like if you are somehow, if you somehow stumbled into this and you are brand new to magic, the, the whole thing about slivers is that every sliver gives every other sliver its abilities. So, you know, when you have a whole board of them, they're all sharing their abilities. And it, 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 if I'm honest, it becomes a bit of a nightmare to track, um, especially as some of these slivers are slightly older um, and give their effect to all slivers, whereas some of the newer slivers only give uh, their ability to slivers you control. So just just keep that in mind because, you know, so, yeah, there'll be differences in, in how it's done. Um, but yeah, so Brood Sliver Aussie makes all your other slivers create slivers, which is fantastic because then those slivers then create more slivers and oh, it's just it just gets very out of hand very, very quickly. Uh, we've got two spiteful slivers, two in a red for a 2-2. Two, two. Uh, sliver creature you control have whenever this creature is dealt damage, it deals that much damage to target player or planeswalker. Um, gives all your uh, slivers this kind of re uh, retaliate ability, so even if they get chumped blocked, you know, and take damage, um, they do damage back to your back to the opponent. So yeah, really, really good. Really like spiteful sliver. And then two cloud shredder slivers. Um, very straightforward effect. Red and white for a one one gives all your slivers uh flying in haste, which just immediately makes them a lot more threatening. And swing the turn, they come down. They've all got evasion. Yeah, just absolute nightmare to deal with. So yeah, but these are these are the rare slivers that we're we're, we're working with. Um, right, then we've got four predatory slivers. One of the only one not reprinted actually in um in Commander Masters, or I think it's Commander Masters, the set all these others from. But um, yeah, the only one that not reprinted. So this is um from the uh, M14 where the slivers had uh, a different art art direction, and I'll leave leave it to you in the comments to uh, discuss uh your opinions on the art direction for the uh, the M14 slivers. But yeah, uh, one in a green for a one one, uh, and just gives all sliver creature control plus one plus one, so it gives itself plus one plus one, so it's a two two for two, and then obviously it's just a board wide pump effect for everything else. So yeah, really straightforward. Uh, three cleaving slivers, uh, three in a red for a two two that gives all your slivers plus two plus naught. Uh, yeah, again, just a straight up power boost. I mean, it's really straightforward, isn't it? Um, and then four striking slivers, one red man for one one to give all your slivers first strike. Again, just immediately makes them so much more threatening and difficult to deal with. 
Uh, three sentinel slivers, uh, one and white for a two that gives them more vigilance again, so they then become much better when they attack because then they can hang around and block, which is obviously again very, very good. Uh, three venom slivers, uh, one green for a one one gives all your slivers death touch, uh, so combine that with the striking sliver and it's your your just opponents just in for a bad time, aren't they? Because it's not, anything with first striking death touch is an absolute pain to try and deal with, um, and this is going to combo very nicely with another slip we're going to see in a bit. I mean, all slivers combo nicely with other slivers, but this one is is going to be particularly good. Um, and then three homing slivers, uh, so two in red for a 2-2, also not a reprint from Commander Masters, but every sliver in each player's hand has sliver cycling three. And what is sliver cycling? Sliver cycling is you can pay three, discard it, search your library, sliver card, reveal it, put it into your hand, and then shuffle your library. Um, so this turns every sliver into a tutor. So whatever you need for the situation, um, you could maybe just like, well, I don't need two sentinel slivers because multiple cases of vigilance are you know not needed. I'll sliver cycle this one way and get like brood sliver or the cloud shredder or you know one of the other one of the other ones that is, is going to be useful to that situation. Um, so yeah, really really like homing sliver. So now we're going to talk about what stops them winning, other than our horde of angry slivers with all the keywords and buffed you know up to you know to sky high levels um so we're gonna have three quilled slivers uh so one white for a one one so all slivers have tap this creature does one damage to target attacking or blocking creature so we combine this with the um uh oh, was it venomous sliver venom sliver yep so <laughs> this this means like even if uh opponents do block us even if they do attack uh we you know we can just shoot them with with our quilled death touch uh, slivers we don't even have to get into combat we can just shoot them as they do that and just present really just like a no win situation because like right do you block us right okay well we've got first strike or 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 death touch or we can just shoot you with you know because you're blocking now or like okay you don't block and when we just get through and do damage then so yeah it's really really mean things i, f I feel like this would get <laughs> feel like it's pretty unfair pretty quickly um and then three harmonic slivers uh one a green and white for one one um all slivers have when this permanent ends the battlefield just destroy an artifact or enchantment just in case there are some troublesome other permanents we want to deal with um also we've got like no way of dealing against like board sweepers so you know you either go big or go home with slivers i think so uh yeah uh, and then quickly we'll talk about the mana base so we've got four mana weft slivers just to help us out here so basically turns all your slivers into um, birds of paradise which is you know it helps when we're playing three colours um, and then three cabaretti courtyard which might be a weird choice but I thought like ah why not you know um, so when it comes uh, when it ends the battlefield it is automatically sacrificed and then you search your library for a basic uh, mountain forest or plains goes on and then that goes onto the battlefield taps then you shuffle and you gain one life um, I have no idea why these cards were you know designed this way but like I guess it's fine I just thought like I'd put it in here to be a bit different rather than the usual terramorphic or, revol or evolving wilds um and then yeah and then eight forests seven mountains and se and six plains yeah really really straightforward deck honestly there's obviously a whole bunch of other slivers we could include in here because you know there's a ton of them um if you wanted to like you know put a bit more money into it because you know like essence sliver which basically is everything lifelink pulmonic sliver turns everything into i think it's um oh was it avenging angel when it dies it goes back on top of your library uh fungus sliver hatchery sliver ward sliver for protection hunt sliver for provoke firewake sliver gives them all haste and turns all slivers into essentially pump spells for other slivers there's like so many other directions and inclusions you could have in in a in a sliver deck even like with you know if you just stick sticking to like these three colors which are honestly i think like the main sliver colors anyway so a lot, a lot of options if you wanted to change this in in some way um so yeah very very straightforward to talk about this deck because <laughs> i say it's it's just slivers like you know they just make each other better don't they which is which is fantastic um if you have any thoughts or comments uh, about the deck you know if you have any changes you would make um you know maybe you know some some non-creature spells maybe i suppose but if you've got some suggestions of good ones stick them in the comments below um yeah would really like to see what people think about this one but i'll be out next time with another three colored budget deck um hope you join me for that one but until then thanks for watching and listening and have a great day.